The whole journey of Ending Sigma began probably about a year ago when I saw the need and I decided that I should write, start writing training materials. This was since I was in the UK, so I started to write the PowerPoints. I was up late in the night writing all of the PowerPoints on resilience and well-being, and then I wrote one on depression and, you know, and I got my business cards together, the T-shirt together, and then I came down here, and that's where I faced a lot of the struggle because I approached some of the ministries, for example, the Ministry of Health, and that was very slow. So I thought, you know what, I just can't wait on, on, on anybody. I just need to take control and go out there and see what I can do for myself. And by the end of 2019, I aim to train at least 1,000 persons in mental health awareness, whether that be uh, well-being and resilience or um, understanding depression, so they should be able to gain the skills to recognise their their own symptoms but also help others in their community. The stigma here in Grenada is really serious. I mean I think we've all seen that video that went viral back in October of the lady that had a mental health breakdown in town. Well the video made me feel really sad. I thought of my mother at the time because my mother had schizophrenia and this really affected my childhood and I experienced childhood trauma. So I was really sad and that people didn't come to her aid and I was thinking about doing these um, end of stigma workshop in Grenada anyway but I think that was the actual time I decided to actually launch it and I got got support from the um, soup kitchen in Guav and I asked can I run a workshop here and they said yes and um, the feedback has been amazing and um, people have asked for more workshops like this where they can speak out about how they're feeling and just reduce this um, stigma of mental ill health in Grenada. So the black dog that I have down here um, I actually call it blue but the black dog it's quite a serious thing really because um, the black dog is associated with depression it's actually a metaphor for depression but the reason I carry it around as well is is because it's a conversation starter. So when I'm walking around with the dog, I mean, some people think I'm mad, but most of the time people are happy to have a conversation with me about mental health and they might actually talk about their own experience. It definitely gets people talking. And with funding and support, I can see Ending Stigma Grenada growing and going out there in the community and helping those people really at risk. The actual people on the streets that need their feet looked at and maybe they need shoes, they need clothing. And I think it's really important to reach these people who may be experiencing mental ill health on the street because these these are, these are people too and they may need, um, they're talented and I think they need something to do to raise their self-esteem and to keep their minds straight and to keep them occupied as well and it would be nice for Andy Stigma Grenada with support from, obviously from the government or outside there that we can go out to each parish at least once a week and get into the community and see how we can help these persons with mental ill health in the community.